G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. I hope you're all well and uh, this is a very special video today um, because of the car of course and uh, this is a car I've been meaning to show for perhaps even years. And it's special for several reasons, uh, not least of which is that uh, the owner is a, is a friend of mine. So um, check out his car. This is his car at the show in Mojiko, uh, Moji and um, I got a couple of photos of it on the outside. Yep, you know, really, really cool car. That color is like a, a deep red, brown, maroon, maroon color. And uh, you'll notice on the outside of the car, he's got like that um, wood paneling. Now, he said that his car was Sabishi, or it is Sabishi. So uh, that, that means uh, in Japanese, what does that mean? Lonely, I guess is what you'd call it. So he felt the car looked lonely without some decorations and uh, it, it also has that roof rack on it, which uh, I don't believe carries anything, but, but anyway, it's, um, it adds to the, to the look, right? And it is a very, very cool looking car. Um, and then I think the next time I saw him, um, I was driving to a car show in Nagasaki, it was raining and uh, Convenience store on the side of the road, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. Whoa, I know that car, there it is. Jumped out and, and I met him again and we had a good old chat. Then uh, he offered to take me to the car show, so I parked my car and off we went to the car show. And uh, and uh, that, I guess, was the start of our friendship and uh, yeah. Anyway, so what does he do? He goes to every car show, he enters every, certainly most car shows that I've been to in Japan. Yeah, in the uh, island of, Ky of Kyushu, yeah? And uh, what does he do? Well, he walks around and gets photos of pr pretty much every car, just like I do. But he actually has a, a job, a real job. Now, see this magazine here? Kosoku UN. Uh, highway, unleaded. Now, this is a magazine, I guess its competition is uh, Nostalgic Hero magazine and G-Works. Yeah, a few, a few magazines, right? It's very, very Toyota Crown heavy. You know, Crown Picnic, it just happens to <laughs> another bunch of crowns. I think he is pictured, and it, yeah, he does reports on car shows, and I think, um, you know, I should have bloody prepared it. Shouldn't I have? Yeah, there you go. Mojiko Retro Car Meeting, that's the car show that I went to, and here is he, down the bottom there, cuffed by police, he's got a mask on. So he's got a bit of a, a character, right, Damien. Now, from the Omen. Now, you'll notice the number plate 666. And, uh, but the character, the mask is Jason, right? So, <laughs> it's a bit odd. But I guess he likes his horror movies. Yeah, check out the number plate 666. And I did a t-shirt on this with the big 666 uh, crown symbol in the background. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, and you'll see the sticker up there. Uh, the black one. Uh, crowns 666 it's a whole thing right now let's check out the uh, the, the boot area the, tr the the back area of the station wagon lots of interesting goodies in here um, there seems to be some crown wheel trims which is which uh, yeah he just received as we entered the last car show we went to because uh, he takes me to car shows oh man anyway so the last car show we went to he was handed these and uh, as we entered but anyway lots of other things here what have we got? We've got that mask again. So that's uh, the um, Jason mask, blood on it. And you'll see uh, there's a magazine, uh, Corsoka UN, uh, volume 24. That's the one before this one. Woohoo, 25. And then over in the corner, we've got Kung Fu Fighter, little Kung Fu Fighter. And then you can see on the side of the box, there's him with some lovely ladies. And um, yeah, I, I tell you what, what I'm going to do another video on this car and I'm going to interview him and he can take us around the car, point out everything and tell us what the deal is with everything. So that, that should be good. So um, again, let's check out the interior, the interior. Now, I've spent quite a bit of time driving to car shows and I guess the one thing that surprised me was uh, it's sort of cramped actually. The front is quite cramped. And uh, I mean, I've experienced this in other big cars like a Toyota, uh, sorry, a Chevrolet from the 80s or something. But anyway, it's quite cramped. Surprised me. But um, it is a big car, of course. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what else? The engine. The engine bay is a bit dirty. He's, you know, by his own admissions. Yeah, it's clean enough for me. I mean, it's a car that he uses and um, it's all good. Yep, 
uh, two liter engine, wow, 1,988cc engine, and uh, two car shows ago, <laughs> we had some trouble. He had some, we had some trouble with it. I forget what the, it was a mechanical problem with the engine, but he, he did fix it um, when he got when when he got home. So, but otherwise, it runs beautifully, and I think I've got some video footage of uh, him during that car trouble car show we went to and it's sputtering away there and everyone's having a chuckle and uh, anyway there you go so yeah Toyota Crown it is the object of a t-shirt it is a great car is is and Mr. Matsu is a good friend so it's all good there are many special things about this so um, I'm really happy to share it with you finally and uh, I'm going to leave it there, okay guys, so, ah, question of the day is a cracker. Uh, the coolest car you have driven in that was not yours, well, mine is this Toyota Crown. It is a stunner, I love it. And uh, please tell me yours in the comments below, okay, so thank you all very much for joining me and a big shout out to, sorry, spontaneous shout out to Mitch Dean, good on you Mitch, thank you very much for getting in contact with me on Facebook just now, so I'm recording this video, you know when. And uh, take it easy, everyone. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on the side of the cows and a little bit of wasabi.